Hey friends, it's Carla here for Emerald Creek Craft Supplies and our challenge this month for March is Ordinary Day and we are celebrating the best and the worst days that we have and we would love to see your projects for those since some of the best days that I have had are when my babies came along I thought I would make a baby card now I'm using the Vintage Pram Cling Stamp from Emerald Creek. It's beautiful um, and it has lovely stamping quality. And I've started to create my background with some Distress Oxide inks and an Altenew stencil here. So I'm just sponging them on. And since this stencil has some small details, I'm uh, pressing more than um, using a back and forth motion so the stencil doesn't shift. So it just created a bit of an ombre effect. And now I'm going to emboss this lovely pram stamp and it's etched in red rubber so it stamps really beautiful. I am stamping with some Versamark embossing ink and all the stamping, I don't show every layer but I do usually stamp it about three times with Versamark and then I just do a layer of Distress Oxide ink and really you don't need that last layer I just like it in case I miss a little bit um, then I still have a color of ink showing through this embossing powder is from Emerald Creek and Seth Apter and it was um, just the promotional one that I have so it doesn't have the um, label that you would get but it's the lime color it's new from Seth Apter and it has such a beautiful sheen and it's a really lovely uh, green color so I stamped that on and you can see how detailed that stamp is and it shows all the sketch marks in that stamp now I took a powder bag from Emerald Creek and I just uh, went over the back of the cardstock there or the front of the cardstock just so that I don't have any extra powder sticking because sometimes those oxide inks stay a little bit wet longer. So I'm taking this sweet stamp and that's from Your Next Stamps and again I'm just going over it with embossing ink here. This one's Versamark that I'm using and then some Distress Oxide ink and it also helps just to kind of see where you're stamping if you want to stamp that last layer of colored ink. Now I've got the Gold Doubloon Emerald Creek Embossing Powder and it's a fine uh, gold powder. It melts so beautifully and it's really nice for stamping anything with any detail. Now I've grabbed a Wild Whisper stamp set and I'm using the Wishes from their Christmas Comfort stamp set. I love combining stamp sets and I think looking through your stash helps you use those more. I'm just going to fussy cut out this pram image to see where I want to layer on my sentiments. So after I kind of position it where I think I'm going to want it, I can close my stamp press and then uh, just add my stamped image. So I've got some black archival ink now and I stamped that. And here's some fun stencils that I had picked up. They were in the Simply uh, Cards and Paper Craft magazine. They were just a bonus item. Um, so these were fun and I have just recently found this embossing uh, dabber and it's been out forever but I hadn't had one so I've really been having fun using this it works great through stencils so I'm grabbing the Seth Apter Dusk embossing powder now from Emerald Creek and this is a new one as well and it has some just beautiful colors in it that uh, melt together and create a really nice effect and I'm just kind of gauging where I want some of those dots to be so uh, stencils are fun with ink or definitely embossing powder as well and it just gives you a little extra texture and uh, this embossing dabber is just really easy and fun to use. So after I 
decide where I want all my uh, details there then I go ahead and emboss it and you can see it's a lovely blue but it has some dark uh, blues or blacks in there and it just it really looks gorgeous so now I'm taking a piece of cardstock and I'm going to have this uh, to layer my front panel on so I'm using that embossing dabber and I start off by layering on the dusk embossing powder and then I just left this in because I wanted to show you um, just try things if they don't work you can go over them and try something else so I could have gone over it with another layer to add a thicker layer but you can see here when I layer on the front panel I'm just kind of looking to see how it looks and whether I feel like it's going to work. So I'm just melting the powder all around the edges and then you can see it's okay but it just doesn't really pop the way I want it to. So I decide to do a heavier layer of the embossing ink and then I'm going to go over it with the gold powder. So the gold melts really nicely over top and this way you can just, you know, try things. If they don't work, it's a piece of paper. You can try it again or do something over top. And this powder just melts so beautifully and quickly. Um, I really love this. So this gives you a really customized way to add a layer that coordinates to your project by keeping the embossing powders uh, similar to what you've used on the top layer. And then um, I went ahead and cut down this top panel just so I could see a little bit more of that gold edge. So I'm just trimming that off and then you can see how beautiful it looks when you layer it on top and it really just does make that pop. So I'm happy about that. Then I'm taking uh, another one of the stamps that came in that paper craft magazine and this one is from the Ranger Letterit collection. They have some really nice stamps out and I'm going to emboss inside the card and say congratulations. So I'm just uh, inking that up and then adding some Distress Oxide ink on the top and then I can go ahead and add more of that beautiful lime powder and emboss that sentiment and you could definitely just stamp that but I think the embossing gives it a really nice texture and just a little bit extra to add to it. These little button brads from Emerald Creek are really neat and I thought these would be great for a baby card and I just used a small hole punch that I had and put that through and it actually lays very flat on the back. So I'm using some tacky glue and I'm just going to glue that gold edged panel down first on top of my card base. And then I will go ahead and layer the panel on and I add the tacky glue but I also grabbed some matte medium to add around that metal part just to make sure that stuck down and laid down flat so that everything was really nice and flat. And then I'm adding some foam tape on the back of that fussy cut pram image and I'm going to pop that up just to give it a little bit of dimension. So you can see we use lots of different techniques. They all look really nice together and this would make a beautiful baby card. I've uh, added a little bit of Simple Stories die cut ephemera and some sequin mix from Buttons Galore and more and my card is finished. I will link below where you can check out the blog and check out the challenge, how you can enter to win, and I would love for you to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for stopping by.